Brethren and companions, welcome to Ashton Masonic Hall in this short video to try and reassure you all that we have taken every possible step to make the uh, to make attending the hall as safe as possible. We will make sure that we meet all the legal requirements as well as the recommendations of Grand Lodge and Provincial Grand Lodge and where we feel it can be done we will even enhance those facilities purely to make sure that everybody feels safe and is safe. On entering through the main front door there will be both a signing in sheet and a hand sanitizer and we would strongly request that everybody either signs in or books themselves in on the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, sheet so that we do have a full record of not only who has attended but to make sure that if there isn't anything happening we can contact you again to try and make sure that you are as safe as possible. We would suggest that all the members roll and disroll in this area. Uh, it will be set up for dining as well but there is plenty of room to make sure that you keep a safe distance uh, from each other again to ensure that you are as safe as possible. Uh, once rolled we would suggest that people stay in this area and then everybody can go up to the lodge room. If it is deemed necessary by the lodge or by the club we can ha we have the facility and we would suggest that maybe stewards are placed at the top and the bottom of the stairs. We have a walkie-talkie system so that it can be so that we can make sure that brethren are not crossing on the steps. Yes. We certainly want to reopen in September. We hope will be adequately uh, will be good enough to enable us to have this window open to provide ventilation for all the brethren as they enter the ante room. Uh, we would ask that all the officers again keep themselves as far apart as possible uh, before entering the lodge room. On entering the lodge, it will be made clear that only every other seat is available to be used by the members or companions. Uh, this will mean that we still have at least one metre between each person. You can use the seat that is not in use to put your bag on. And it also means that because you are not facing each other, there is that, that added safety aspect, uh, again, stressing to make sure that the brethren are as safe as we can possibly make it. So that will be every other seat, nobody facing each other, at least a metre apart, and using the non-utilised chair to place your bag on. Where necessary, we will remove chairs, an example being where the normal, normally where the senior uh, past master sits and where the IPM sits, we will remove chairs so that again the master is not placed under any um, uh, under any stress, feeling that there is not enough social distancing, and we will carry out this procedure all the way through the whole lodge room, wherever it, it is possible. If the suggested method of departing from the lodge room is followed. We would again suggest that the, the whole party go out in single file and go down to the lodge room in order to, to disrobe. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is that if you have brought your lodge uh, case up to the lodge room, to take that out with you. Otherwise, we will end up with people crossing on the stairs looking for their bag. But single file with your case straight down to the dining room where you can get back to your uh, disrobe and get back to your normal clothing. So brethren and companions, having come downstairs again, uh, we would suggest that one disrobes in the dining room where your cases can be left in a handy place uh, and again minimising any personal contact and keeping a safe distance. If necessary, for leaving the building, we will open additional doors, either the emergency exits, the main doors into and from the conservatory, the emergency exits at the far end of the conservatory, again to minimise any contact and 
to make people feel and be safe. Yeah. Whilst in the lodge dining room, uh, we will try and open as many doors as possible, the double doors at the front of the conservatory, the emergency exit doors, and any other method we can to give ventilation. Even one of the older uh, systems that was installed for the days when people smoked, we have an extraction system in the lodge dining room that will take air out and allow natural ventilation in. The ventilation system was installed for, for the days when we were all allowed to smoke as and when and if permitted and is covered by the vents above the uh, entrance into the bar and above the kitchen uh, entrance and, and exit. So that will draw air out of the room and allow natural ventilation in. You will realise uh, that as we take this we are now into the getting towards the end of July. We have already had one private function here, a wedding where we had 110 sat down for the main meal and 170 for the evening. We ensured at all times that there was social distancing, that there was no dancing, that people wore masks and at that time we ensured everything was at table service both for drinks and for food. We have made sure that we meet all the legal requirements and all the social requirements uh, as recommended by the government and any other organisation. All we, we take the greatest pride in ensuring that all our visitors and our staff and our members are kept safe at all times. Uh, brethren, again, when in the main banqueting suite, we have tried to make sure that we get maximum ventilation uh, so that the uh, fresh air is constantly being delivered. In Brethren, one of the facilities we do have, of course, is to run the air conditioning without the boiler on and draw fresh air in so that we can feed fresh air in through the ducts as well as fresh air coming in from the, uh, from the fire exits. Um, again, to just make sure we get the maximum number of air changes uh, possible within the building.